So Radoslav Sim Simon of Slovakia with the final instructions. And we are underway in a contest that promises to be an absolute cracker. It's between boxers from Kazakhstan and Japan in this all-Asian affair. The taller figure wearing red is a Kazakhstan boxer, Seri Tamirjanov, 23 years of age, competing in his first senior Aiba World Boxing Championships, fresh from his appearance at the Tokyo Olympic Games earlier this summer. His opponent, wearing blue, is just 19 years of age, and that is Reito Tsutsumi. And if that's a familiar sounding name, if you've been watching these championships here in Belgrade, that's because his older brother is in action here and now and produced a terrific performance yesterday to eliminate Lazaro Alvarez of Cuba, bringing to an end the sensational run of the Cuban maestro prior to his elimination yesterday by Hayato Tsutsumi. He had won five straight medals at World Championship competition. An incredible run, taking gold in 2011, 2013 and 15, and then silvers in 17 and 19. But he was bested by Hayato Tsutsumi yesterday. And Ryuto Tsutsumi, well, he comes in after I was there commentating in Kielce when he boxed his way through to the top of the podium in the World Youth title, winning five contests out of five to take World Youth gold. It's an incredibly talented family. And here they are representing Japan on the global stage. Good double right hand on the inside by Tamir Janov. Satsumi looking to keep his head out of harm's way. Spearing right jab was off the mark from Satsumi. Long, straight right was a scoring shot from Tamir Janov. But Satsumi getting to work with his right jab and then whips in a bolo shot from the backhand to the body. He possesses feet that are incredibly quick. He can go from beyond punching range to short range in the blink of an eye, but if he keeps taking body shots like that, those feet may well be slowed down. He reciprocates with a good right hand body shot of his own, finished with a left after the right uppercut was off the mark. Up on his toes now, Tamir Janov remaining focused, whips in a long left to the body once again. And then as Satsumi became a little bit disorganized, he took a right hand to the head from Tamir Janov. So closing seconds of the opening round. Tamir Janov looking to measure his man with that long left hand, brings through a right cross which was blocked by the gloves. Satsumi looking for uppercuts and hooks, but again, the defenses of the man in red secure, who dug in a hard left hand beneath the elbow of his opponent just before the bell sounded. A very good round of boxing. I think this man did enough to take it. And there's confirmation of a clean sweep on the cards in favor of Serik Tamirjanov of Kazakhstan. 10-9 for all five scoring judges. Some of the action from that opening round. So we're going to the second round then. The first round swept unanimously by Serik Tamir Janov as he scores with a good right hand straight down the pipe, which jolted the teenager's head back. Bobbing and weaving in front of Tamir Janov now is Sutsumi. And again, we have to reinforce that he is just 19 years of age. The reigning world youth champion emulating the accomplishments of his older brother, Hayato, who became Japan's first ever world youth champion. I was ringside, ringside to witness that triumph in St. Petersburg in 2016. And is often, as is often the case with younger siblings, the one who goes first is often emulated and sometimes surpassed
by the younger sibling. That is what Satsumi hopes to do. Here he is competing in a senior world championships at the age of 19, having already proved himself the best on his continent in his age classification, but he's being touched up here to both head and body by Tamir Zhanov because he took 2019 Asian youth gold in Mongolia, consolidated that, that was in 2019, and then consolidated that by taking the global title this year in Kielce in Poland. And here he is competing with the big boys. Good left hand to the body by Tamir Zhanov. Left hand to the body, wasn't too far away from Sutsumi then came back with a right hand to the body, but look at that for a burst of successful combination punches to body and head. And Satsumi, well, for all of his sublime talent, his toughness is being demonstrated here because he's being taking shots. And his corner might want to take a look at this because his head is being snapped back repeatedly. He's driven back by a right cross. And again, the reigning world youth champion, just 19 years of age, competing against an experienced 23-year-old and he just endured a really difficult portion of the round. Now, the referee can take a close look at this for me because we don't want to see this outstanding talent have his confidence dented or indeed see him get hurt here at the World Championships. But he's been taking an awful lot of heavy, clean shots in this second round. Has he weathered the storm? He's got 30 seconds to make it back to his corner. Referee was right on time with the standing count. He comes back with a cluster of his own Satsumi before taking a right cross. But every time Tamir Zhanov looks to go through the gears, it's proving bountiful. Often the case with precocious talents, they have to be managed and nur nurtured. Don't want to get them frustrated. Disenchanted with the game, but a very good round indeed, produced by Serik Tamirjanov, the Olympian from Tokyo earlier this summer, asserting his authority in that second round at the expense of 19-year-old Reito Sutsumi. And there's confirmation, another clean sweep of the cards. Three cards returned of 10-8. Such was Tamir Janov's dominance in that second three-minute stanza. Well, it was quite brilliant from Serik Tamir Janov. Certainly merciless because when he started to bring those uppercuts through the middle and find gaps in the defences of Satsumi, he turned this one into one-way traffic and some of the crosses were so heavy that it sent Satsumi tottering backwards. This was, this was the combination here. But credit to Satsumi. He got himself through it and is out to contest the third and final round. First bout of the tournament for Satsumi, having received a bye in the first preliminary round. Tamir Zhanov outpointed the man from Mongolia. To oh, that's a beautiful right cross on the resumption. He measured his man with the left and then extended the backhand and caught his man right on the end of it. Caused Satsumi's knees to dip. But he regained his boxing stance immediately and is continuing to go in pursuit of the victory. Takes a right hand to the body. Well, he's being outboxed here. He's being outworked. He's probably been hurt on a couple of he's probably been hurt on a couple of occasions as well. But he is certainly showing the requisite and required toughness, determination, and desire because he is still in there pitching, still in there going for the victories. He scored with a good body shot, then right hand to the head out of the southpaw stance. In amongst his own age group, the teenager was in many instances head and shoulders above his rivals during his run to the top spot in the podium in Kielce. But here, against ex as he takes a right hook from Tamir Zhanov, here he's facing off against opponents with far more exper experience. And again, assuming his confidence isn't dented and he's not hurt physically, well, this will be a tremendous learning experience for him. Although having said that, can you imagine the spars between he and his brother Hayato, and never mind the inter familial spars, both of those guys spar with the monster, Naoya Inoue, 
one of the pound for pound best in the world. That is the caliber of education the Satsumi brothers are receiving over in Japan. So inside the final minutes of this final round, left hand in that cluster did get through from the South pouring blue. There's another left hand success. And again, you have to admire the man's commitment and his demonstrable desire because he hasn't wilted in the face of the pressure that he's being put under. And it was significant and often sustained by Tamir Janov. Hasn't really set about his man with the same intensity here in round three as he did in round number two. Perhaps mindful of the fact that having boxed in the round of 64, if Tamir Janov wants to occupy top spot on the podium, he's going to have to fight six times. And so he's just conserving energy. Tamir Janov from my perspective, but there's little doubt that he has done enough to boss this contest. But again, we have to applaud Raito Sutsumi and the manner in which he competed there because Serik Tamir Janov asserted his authority pretty early on. He increased it in the second round and he gave this man some real difficulty in round two. But to his credit, he saw it through came out, continued to compete after biting down. And not only did he just survive the third round, he was taking it to Tamir Janov. But let's get the verdict that will send the boxer from Kazakhstan through. So there is confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Serik Tamir Janov taking all three rounds for all five scoring judges. And again, 10-8 scorecards returned from three judges in that second round. Raito Satsumi eliminated in his first appearance in a senior world championships in a year where he took world youth gold. Absolutely terrific talent. And he will have learned a lot from that experience. But his world championships comes to an end here. His brother is still in contention after eliminating Lazaro Alvarez yesterday. As we take a look at some of the action, which sees Serik Tamir Janov go, go through to the round of 16 after a very commanding performance indeed.